This is Hope Television, proudly serving the Toledo District. This is Devotion at Daybreak. Here now is the host, Patrick Jones. Good morning everyone and welcome. Today I invite you to open your Bible with me to Mark chapter 12 verses 38 to 44. I read from the New International Version. As he taught, Jesus said, Watch out for the teachers of the law. They like to walk around in flowing robes and be greeted with respect in the marketplace and have the most important seats in the synagogues and the places of honor at banquets. They devour widows' houses and for a show make lengthy prayers. These men will be punished most severely. Jesus sat down opposite the place where the offerings were put and watched the crowd putting their money into the temple treasury. Many rich people threw in large amounts, but a poor widow came and put in two very small copper coins worth only a few cents. Calling his disciples to him, Jesus said, Truly, I tell you, this poor widow has put more into the treasury than all the others. They all gave out of their wealth, but she, out of her poverty, put everything, put in everything, all she had to live on. I draw your attention, brothers and sisters, to the line that says, She, out of her poverty, put everything, all she had to live on. That was truly an amazing thing to witness for our Lord Jesus Christ. And it carried with it such a profound message that the writer of the Gospel of Mark was sure to include it in his narrative. The American assistant professor of psychology and social behavior at the University of California, Irving uh, Paul Piff, conducted a study about giving patterns. The Our Daily Bread devotional points out that through a research test, he discovered that the poor were inclined to give 44% more of what they had than wealthy people. The bottom line, proven by research, is that those who've felt their own poverty are often moved to greater generosity. This is something that Jesus knew even before the invention of psychology and the study of social behavior. Jesus witnessed it in action with his own two eyes. While visiting the temple, he watched the crowds drop gifts into the treasury. As noted at chapter 12 of the Gospel of Mark, our Savior observed the rich tossing in wads of cash, but he also witnessed a poor widow pull out her last two copper coins and place them into the basket. Brothers and sisters, Jesus was amazed. So much so that he could not keep what he just witnessed to himself. The Bible tells us that Jesus then called all of his disciples. He called all of them together to make sure that they did not miss this wonderful testimony. The poor widow has put more into the treasury than all the others, Jesus exclaimed. The disciples, not knowing what had gone on, looked at each other, bewildered, hoping someone could explain what Jesus was talking about. So, Jesus made it plain. Those bringing huge gifts gave out of their wealth, but she, out of her poverty, put in everything. Brothers and sisters, we may have little to give, but Jesus invites us to give out of our poverty. Though it may seem meager to others, we give what we have, and God finds great joy in our lavish gifts. As you go about your daily activities, think about what it means for you to give out of your poverty, and ask yourself, how can I give everything for Jesus? Let us pray. Heavenly Father, this morning I acknowledge that there are times when I don't feel like I have much to offer you. My gifts feel small, insignificant, and worthless. But I am here, all of me. 
I give myself to you, Lord. Will you receive me in my poverty? Amen. I pray that you will have a wonderful and a blessed day today. Thanks for watching Devotion at Daybreak. This is a ministry of Hope Television.